Right now we've all seen the bombings, we've all seen the footages, we've all seen the news headlines, but what's happening around the Middle East? And I want to tell you straight up front, what you're seeing now is the alignment and the beginning of the fulfillment of biblical prophecy. And despite what you've been seeing a lot on social media, especially on YouTube, there's a lot of quote unquote prophets that go prophesying this, prophesying that, saying, oh yeah, what's happening in the Bible, this is what God's saying that's happening in America, this is what it really means with these particular groups of people. Biblical prophecy is not predicated around America. It's not predicated around Europe. It's not predicated around Asia. Biblical prophecy all surrounds the nation of Israel. That's why when we're looking at scripture, when we're looking at prophecy, we look towards Israel to see what is happening because God made an everlasting covenant with his people and biblical prophecy deals with everything that pertains to Israel. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Andrew. I'm an evangelist here in Toronto, Canada, and I care about one thing, revival. And what revival is, is the stirring of a man's heart to advance the kingdom of God. And what we're seeing now must put urgency into your spirit because the time is short. Jesus is coming and he's coming very, very soon. And what you just saw is not the fulfillment of Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse 39, but it's the allegiances that are forming, the increase of tensioning that's happening, which is pushing us closer and closer to this battle called the Gog and Magog War, which has been highlighted. And if you're unfamiliar with what the Gog and Magog war is, it is a battle that's going to take place where Gog, a leader, and Magog, a place, are going to form a union and look to attack Israel along with neighboring nations. And the Bible goes into extensive detail about who those nations are and who are the key players in this coming war. Gog, the Bible describes as a leader, an aggressive leader that is directly north of Israel. And if you were to look on a map, the nation that is directly north, that is making moves, that is making advancements, and that is looking to take control of the sea, is the land of Russia. And what they're doing politically and geographically, and I'm not saying that Vladimir Putin is Gog, but he does have the characteristics of what has been highlighted in Bible prophecy. And secondly, Magog, which is a place that the Bible calls Persia, and Persia is modern day Iran. But those two nations, Russia and Iran, have been getting closer and closer together. And they're even part of an international group called BRICS. And with this relation, we're seeing what is happening throughout the world. The Bible talks about the rise of anti-Semitism, which is a hatred for the Jewish people. And we're seeing that more and more and more. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 4, that all the nations of the world would have a distaste for the nation of Israel. And we're seeing things in Europe. We're seeing riots throughout Canada, the United States. Australia about the hatred towards the Jewish people. This giant push for hatred has already been prophesied and is one of the key indications of the end times. So the attack you've seen against Israel when all these rockets are firing into it are increasing up tensions to get a hatred towards the Jewish people, to put Israel on the world stage so all the nations are going to look at it. And who knew that social media would play such a huge part and such a huge role in this? to get nations to turn their backs upon Israel and to showcase what's happening throughout the Middle East. All this is the formation of the nations that's going to attack the nation of Israel and putting them on display for the world to see. This is not going to be the only attack. There's going to be many more increasing tensions. Then you're going to see this, which is one person coming up and signing a seven-year peace treaty deal. And that person who does that is known in the Bible as the Antichrist, who's going to sign a seven-year peace treaty deal with the Arab nations and the Jews. And midway through this deal, he's going to break it and attack Israel. What you're seeing now is the formation of this Gog and Magog war and getting things ready for Armageddon and the return of Christ. There is a battle brewing in this Gog and Magog war where the neighboring nations are going to surround Israel, the Bible says, like a black cloud looking to strike and looking to attack. And during this attack, God is going to supernaturally 
defend his people once again, showing the nations of the world that he is the God that has an everlasting covenant, that he is the God that protects his people, that he is still the same God as he was all throughout scripture. And since we know that this battle, this attack is going to happen after the rapture, it tells you about how soon Jesus is coming for his church. You need to live ready. You need to live holy. You need to live fully surrendered. Because Jesus said these words in Revelation chapter 22. He said, surely I am coming soon.